Mark Goddard, the referee for this welterweight contest. Afghanistan versus Egypt, the SFL. That wasn't a touch of the gloves, that was a first punch. That was a whack of the wrist. <laughs> but here we are. Mark Goddard. Round number one is underway. International referee working with the Super Fight League at Friday Fight Nights. Mars in the blue, hit him in the red, lands a nice leg kick. He's going to be looking to set up that range immediately. Oh, nice right hand, closing the distance is Baz. Haitham looks prepared for Baz's wrestling, but Baz gets the takedown as all wrestlers usually do. Baz showing some serious power there in the clinch. Baz is definitely a strong guy. Uh, he, he looks a lot more in shape actually as well this time. Since the last time we saw him. I, I spoke with uh, Baz's cornerman and he said he actually comes from the interior, you know, the, the hills of Afghanistan. Where for, for guys there, it's pretty much, you know, survival of the fittest. The jungle rules out there. Well, he's looking to land some jungly ground and pound. Well, yeah, <laughs> he's pressing, uh, using his forehead to press against oh, nice. Haitham. Nice one and two. He, look at Haitham, he's fighting off his back. Both these guys want that win. The oh. W is on their mind. Look at the way, look at and the way he's, he's, try, he's trying to get that arm he's pulling there. His left, he's pulling his left hand up, he's got a hold. He's trying to get it under the chin. I think he's trying to look for, he could be looking for a go go platter. Look at the way he keeps raising that. Well, Baz is definitely going to make him work for that submission now, attempt. Baz is having none of that. Baz is having none of that. He just powered out of it. Like a bull looking to land some of that trademark ground and pound. Oh, that was heavy. Well, a couple more of those shots will not be too nice for Haitham. No, Haitham doesn't want any of that anymore. He wants to scoot his hips and get out from underneath him. But I'm pretty sure, you know, Haitham, uh, I spoke to his corner, he told me that they trained, they trained, they knew to a certain Mongo, extent that they Easy. might have to spend some time position. on the ground, defensively. Oh, heavy, heavy. Bad intentions which eat and every one of those punches. Heavy elbows, hammer fist. Elbows, forearms, oh, hammer fist. That was a nasty hammer fist. Well, I almost saw Haitham go to sleep and come back wow, in, yeah, a, in a jiffy. Hatham. I think, I think, you know, uh, yeah, I half know. a flash knockout. Half a flash. <laughs> but yeah, he got hurt with that one. That looked nasty. Well, uh, Baz is definitely got mean, mean, bad intentions with that ground and pound. No, you don't he knows what he's doing. And I think, uh, I think Haytham, Haytham should not well. stay there. He should try and get out of there and try and get back up to the standing position or he is going to get hurt. Yeah, and Hetham is not is not is not actually controlling that posture too well. He's allowing Baz to rise up. Well, he's got a leverage and guard down with those hammer fists. But yeah. you know what? All credit to Baz too. It's not just Hetham. Baz is just that strong. It's really hard to control him from this position. Well, you know, Arjun, I, I see Hetham got a guard which is pretty loose and open. He's, he's, he's not trying to you know get get control with with his guard. He's and trying so to butterfly it. You see how he's trying to get his feet. Underneath, he's got his, he's he's got got a butterfly position. on the right hand side. Stay there, stay he's trying to get that leg through. between underneath Baz's left thigh, trying to flip him over maybe. Arjun, we're Kate's side and we can hear the whack of those Stop. shots as Baz is landing, landing those slams. Uh, Mark oh, Goddard doesn't want any more of that and he says, boys, get up and let's see some action. Come on, he was working. Well, Arjun, you never <laughs> seem to be happy with the referee decision. No, I mean, let them fight. Let them fight. He's in that position, let them fight. But anyway, we reset in the standing position. Both fighters. Oh! Nice right hand. Baz actually is looking a lot sharper in his striking. Hatham. Excuse me. Hatham looks a little tentative now. He lands that knee and gets tripped once again. I got to see a couple of training videos of Baz uh, before this bout and he was working with, uh, with a national level boxing coach back in Afghanistan. So that's the reason why those punches are at, landing. Oh, 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 look at that. He's trying to set up something. He can hit this angle. He's got a hold of Baz's right hand. Well, his, his feet are in the right position, but I'm not too sure that he's going to be able to control that, that armbar. You know? he's, he's not straightened out the arm yet. As long as Baz doesn't stand up straight, they're right in front of us here. You can see 
the position of Baz is armed. It's not completely straight. So till then, well, he's uh, in no trouble. Ba as you said, Baz is just that strong. I mean, he's putting pressure and he's not allowing uh, Haytham to get a proper grip of that arm. And he's landing some ground and pound while he's at that. You see, immediately, Haytham gave it up. Last 10 seconds. 10 seconds remaining in the round. This round has been a heavy top control dominant round by Baz Muhammad. And we go to the second round. Wow. Now, Dan, that was amazing. An amazing round. He started off strong and he just controlled it from the get-go. Haytham looks good in the beginning. He landed a few kicks, but unfortunately, he could not stop the shot. You can see in the replay here, he took him down at will, as and when he wanted to. Arm across the face, landing the brutal hammer fist. Albeit all of them didn't land, but that one was nasty. That bounced his head off. That was a nasty, nasty punch, Arjun. Beautiful display of top control and ground and pound showed by Baz Mohammed. Very clear, dominant win in round one for sure. He lands that knee. I don't think Hatham had an answer for the takedowns. We'll see if he's listened to his corner instructions. They're back center, fight center, center. Atham should look to keep this fight standing. Ready? Ready, guys. I think Baz has been working on his cardio quite a bit as well. Well, Baz has always been a cardio machine. Uh, but what he didn't have was striking, and uh, he's, he's come back in, in this round, in this fight, with uh, some yeah. nasty punches. He looks crisp on his feet. He was countering Atham as well. Oh, he landed a nice shot there to the body. Haytham needs to keep his hands up because Baz is coming in quick with that right hand. He's swinging it in. Oh! Tried a front kick. Throws him down to the ground, does Baz. Well, uh, you know... And rinse and repeat. Oh! oh that was that a was nasty, nasty, nasty shot. Wow! You could That's hear a nasty shot. Danny, you can hear his hands thump on the canvas. Well, I've never seen a guy going on ground and pound with punches like that. It's almost not a punch. It's like a, like a <laughs> forearm fist shot, you know? Oh, it's beautiful. That, those hammer fists are doing some damage. You can't really see them, but believe you me, ladies and gentlemen. I think I'm going to name them Smashes. <laughs> he is smashing his face down. Like Hulk Smash. He should name himself Hulk Smash. <laughs> Landing some good ground and pound again is Buzz. He really is incredibly dominant from this position. Haytham, you know, but you can't really blame Haytham here because he just is not giving him any room to breathe. He's Baz is now getting into game plan two with the elbows, I see. Well, I Baz is biding his time. He's being smart about it. He doesn't want to tire himself out so soon. This is a three-round fight. He's just at the beginning of round. Oh, there we go again. Ooh. Referee Mark Goddard calling for some more action. Referee Mark Goddard looking on carefully as well because, you know what? Those punches have some evil, evil intent behind them. And they look that they can they can put anyone to sleep anytime now. Well, I'm, I'm actually surprised that Haytham has last, lasted so long with all of those hard, hard smashes, as they call it. That just shows you his conditioning. His chin is, is very good, but I don't think he's going to want it. Oh, another one. Nice left hand. Well, you know, you're, you're, in, you're in a typical scenario where you don't want to be on your back. You're getting smashed with punches from on top but you cannot reverse the guy. You know, it's one of those typical positions where you've got a real, real dominant wrestler stop, on top. Stop, oh. Stand up. And Stand up. referee Stand up. Mark Goddard stands them up again Stand up. for an activity, the reset in the standing position. I'm not sure if you agreed with that one again. <laughs> no, I guess that was warranted. Oh, lands a straight, beautiful left hand. Ground and pound all the way. Landed. Oh, nasty elbows. Oh, look, oh man, Danny, look at those shots. Oh, those are really, really mean brutal, shots over there. Brutal, really heavy mean shots. shots to the body. Oh, oh, God, that was, oh, that was hard. I could hear the ground thump in front of us, the mat shake behind those punches. He's cut him open right across his mouth. Oh, the, man, oh, those man. are really, really hard shots. Oh, he's cut him open on his mouth, landing. Even the shots to the body were nasty. Baz definitely wants that W. But I don't understand why Baz is not is choosing not to go for the full mount. He prefers to stay inside control and rain down with those heavy, hard shots. No, maybe he gets, you know what, maybe he gets more leverage. Maybe he doesn't want to be reversed from that position. 
You never know, Dan. Sometimes these fighters are more comfortable in, uh, in certain positions. Of in course. certain positions. So, uh, just really won't know that to be speaking. Just to him another <laughs> interesting point noted out by Mr. Isaac for you, Mr. Chipal <laughs> <laughs> uh, Back to the back to the game. The ground and pound was nasty. But look at this. Hetham is still trying. He's looking for that submission. He's looking for that arm. And he picks him up. Oh, oh that beautiful was a bad slam! One. But he's got to be careful because. He's got to be very careful because he straightens out that arm, but I think Baz is just that strong and he's out of it. Look, nice knees short to the knee, body. beautiful short knees to the ribs. That can't be out and, and Hitham is beginning to bleed. Nasty. You can see the entire right hand side of his mouth. He's cut badly on the lips. I'll say one thing, Baz has some heavy hands. Baz is a tough fighter, a really, really strong fighter. And uh, he must have easily have some of the heaviest hands in the welterweight division. Well, welterweights, watch out as uh, Baz Muhammad has made his comeback to the Super Fight League. Oh, I, oh, I think he lost his mouthpiece. I don't know if it was Baz or if it was Hatem. I think someone lost their mouthpiece. I think it was uh, Hatem. Still going back to that ground and pound, Hatham is taking a beating. Yeah, he's taking a beating and I'm seriously uh, wondering whether he's going to be able to answer that third round. Hatham is holding on to dear life, he attempted that armbar submission attempt. Oh, heavy hands once again. Ten seconds in the round, Baz is going. Whoa, oh, that was a heavy up kick. kick. Wow, there is some fight remaining. In Stop. this match, that, it was a tremendous round, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. A tremendous oh, round oh, 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 oh. by tremendous both fighters. Hatham is getting up slowly to his corner. You can see his corner helping him up, sitting on the stool. Baz looks to be in great condition. Check him up. Baz looks ready to come back for some more of those smashes, and I am uh, sincerely hoping that. Uh, you see the replay. He landed a nice spinning back fist, which landed in the body, did land on the face. A nice trip there, an outside leg trip. Gets him to the ground and lands some vicious, vicious ground and pound. Look at that, Dan. Well, you know, over tonight's fight card, uh, Arjun, we've got to see so many different kinds of fights and fighters. And uh, another one of those typical bouts was brought by Baz and Haitham tonight. Now, Baz <laughs> showed one thing. You do not want to be on the receiving end of a Baz Muhammad hammer fist, elbow or strike. Or smash. Or smash, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Getting ready for the third and final round. Well, these boys are tough and they are ready to get it on once again. I have to give props to Hatham. Man, he took a beating in those first two rounds. But he's looking careful. He doesn't want to take any more chances. Baz looking to measure him. Both fighters reluctant to take the first step. Both looking to counter. Well, if this, if this fight uh, goes the distance, I don't think we're going to need uh, the judges to wait to score for Mark Goddard, Colts time. Come on, guys. Come on, get together. Ready? Oh, he Go forgot around. his mouthpiece. Interesting on, note. Guys. Interesting uh, observation by Mark Goddard, international referee. <laughs> There's a reason why he's there. Baz forgot his mouthpiece, <laughs> but he, you know what? That's why I love this guy. He didn't care. He's like, okay, mouthpiece, no mouthpiece. I'm still gonna go there. Go back Let's in do this. there and take him down. <laughs> now, both fighters a bit hesitant in round number three. Both fighters don't want to take the first step. Hatham at this point just looking to counter. I think after the first two rounds, Hatham is just looking to counter. Oh, again, starts off the round with a nice spinning back fist. Baz clasps his hands. Lands a nice knee. Looking for that takedown. You know, technically, it's, it's a typical uh, stalemate in MMA. Uh, a fighter is getting dominated by the other guy. Uh, he's not too active, but at the same time, oh, nice he, knee. he is able to survive. And, and he goes for right hand. He goes for a choke there. It's a very awkward position. Uh, that's not oh, that's another a beautiful, knee. Oh, left hand. Another left couple hand. of punches. Right hand, left hand. Oh, oh. and Mark the referee has seen stops enough. the bout. Wow. That 
was a hard, hard fought fight and what? an excellent, excellent wow, clinic wow, of uh, wow, wow. tough, tough mixed martial arts in this bout. What a combination to end that fight. But props to Hetham, he didn't go down that easily. And props to Mark Goddard as well. He saw that, he saw that Hetham was fading. He was knocked out on his feet and he just slumped to the ground. All credit to Baz Muhammad. What a combination. An excellent comeback by Baz Muhammad. But they are super replay? fight league Man, 13. that was nasty. He landed that one, two and Mark Goddard had seen enough. An excellent stoppage by Mark Goddard. He actually Boom. caught him a half a second before Haitham dropped. Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee called a stop to the fight in the third round in one minute and 38 seconds. Oh, yeah. Declaring the winner by TKO from the blue corner, Boss Muhammad Morales! Wow, drop her to the mat with the shoot, shoot now.